Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a um, tutorial on this look right here. This is kind of like my everyday makeup tutorial um, if I'm going to be putting makeup on that day. So I do film a lot, so I am, I do put a lot of makeup on um, just when I'm filming. But when I actually, you know, want to put on makeup for the day, this is kind of what I go for um, if I want a little bit more glam. This look actually doesn't use any foundation. It's super light on the skin. I used very little makeup on my face so you're gonna get some coverage out of this look with the use of no foundation so it's gonna feel very very light on the face and then the eyes are super whisked out and super easy to create this eye look but it still gives you that glam defined eye feel and then a nice bold um, matte lips so I kind of switch it up when I'm doing my makeup but I used a lot of affordable products today and went in depth with step by step on how to do this look and as I said it's pretty easy you're gonna get uh, full coverage and I have acne and acne scarring and I still can you know get good coverage out of this look without the use of a lot of product so this is kind of my go-to look recently so I really wanted to share it with you guys so if you want to see how to get this look just keep on watching all right so let's just get started with the face makeup first I'm going to prime the skin with this wet and wild dewy primer I kind of switch which primer I like to use um, you know just depending on my mood that day but I want like a really dewy look today. so I'm gonna go in with this one it does give a nice glowy look I like this primer because it gives you the dewiness but it's not like shimmery or anything as i said i'm not going to be using foundation in this video just concealer and we're going really really light the trick with this look is to spot conceal because um, then you're not going to be using a lot of product but you're still going to get some coverage then your skin's kind of still peeking through so it's just a really nice look I'm taking this maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 10 it's a little too dark for me and then this l'oreal um infallible full wear concealer in the shade ivory which is a little too light for me and i actually love mixing these not only to get my right shade um, i put a little more of the infallible one just on the back of my hand not only to get my right shade but also to um mix the formulas this one right here has a really like more of a thicker full coverage type feel to it and this is a really light dewy one so mixing these I just get the perfect formula where it like is a lighter consistency but I still get good coverage so then I'm just going to grab a little brush this is the Real Techniques deluxe concealing brush I'm just going to mix these two shades on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to take the little brush and I'm gonna go right on any spots and this is a nice little concentrated brush so you're really gonna get like full coverage on where you're trying to achieve that so I'm more just spot concealing not completely blending out right now and this way you're going to cover up you want more coverage then you're not using a lot of product your skin's not going to have so much makeup on it I'm also going like right in this inner corner because that's where I really have more darkness. Now that like the spots are covered, I'm going to take just a tad more of each product. Same procedure on the back of my hand. I really should get like a little palette so it's not getting absorbed into my skin on my hand. I should get one of those on Amazon or something been ordering so much on Amazon it's crazy I'm gonna take a stippling brush now this is the elf small stipple brush I've been liking a way a stipple brush has been doing this for me because it will give me light coverage and it will just blend everything out and you can obviously use a bigger stipple brush I like to use a smaller one because then I can use it kind of all over and under my eyes as well but you just have to do more blending with a smaller one it takes a little bit more time so that's kind of up to you but I just like it so here is my skin and I like this type of look because you can still kind of see my skin peeking through like my freckles my scars and stuff so it's really really natural but it just gives you a bit of that coverage and then I do like to set that down I'm just gonna use my Cody Airspun and I'm just gonna go in with a light hand of this um, with a little extra part in my t-zone so just going in with one of these powder puffs and I'm just gonna go a little more under and on top of the eyes because we are gonna be applying eyeshadow today I don't want that stuff to crease and 
where I did more spot concealing to set it down. And then everywhere else I'm just kind of going with the excess product. Now it is time to do the brows. I'm going to take my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And since we're keeping this look fairly natural, I'm just very sparsely filling in and going in with a really light hand as well. Because I don't want to do too intense of brows when, when I have a really light makeup look going on. So, just a little bit. I need to do my brows. They're getting crazy right now. I don't always set my brows, but because they're kind of crazy right now, I'm just going to take this L'Oreal uh, Brow Styles Definer. It's just their clear gel. I'm just going to quickly run this over the brows just to kind of put them in place. So let's finish off of this face. This part is definitely very important because it kind of brings some life back to your skin and again make the look look more natural even though we're adding some more products on. So I'm just going to take my butter bronzer. I like this because it has a really natural tone to it. So you can kind of do some contouring as well as warm up the skin with it. And I like to go in with a big brush, not too precise, um, especially because we didn't lay down a lot of base makeup. Um, the powder like you might need to apply a little bit more but then you don't have to be as precise I'm just kind of brushing it everywhere to warm up the face I can even go a bit on my nose make myself look a little more tan I don't usually do this but I'm gonna take this wet n wild color icon bronzer this is in the shade take it to Brazil I'm just taking a bit of this and this has a slight shimmer to it I don't know if you guys can see it in there but just a slight shimmer in that bronzer so it'll just kind of add some more glow to the skin next is blush and i've been really into peach warm blushes lately i'm trying to just bring that summer vibe in because it's not summer yet here it's getting there but not quite i'm going to show you guys the two blushes i've been really loving to use um i've really been into this note blush in the shade desert rose it's such a beautiful color and also my milani baked blush in luminoso this will never ever not be one of my favorites i love this so much and i'm gonna use this one today it has a really nice sheen to it going in with this um luxie duo fiber brush i'm kind of going in circles on my cheeks i'm liking a heavier hand of blush especially with this type of makeup look i just think it makes your skin look a little more sun-kissed and then i go on my nose too again to make it look like I've been out in the sun or something. And then I kind of take it up to my temples as well. All right, so then to highlight, um, we're gonna stick with this warm tone theme. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Make Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. It's a really pretty, just gold tone highlighter. I love these from Wet n Wild. And you can just see how beautiful that is. And go on the cupid's bow and on the nose. And lately I've been taking it right here. And I'll also just take some on the eye. Just adds a really nice glow. Because my skin isn't quite tan enough to use that wet mild one alone, I'm going to take this Physicians Formula one. Um, this is just their shimmer brick in the shade Warm Nude. And I'm just going to plop this on top just to lighten it up a little bit. I feel like if you're going for a no makeup look, you're not going to apply a lot of makeup that day. One step I always like to do is highlight, even on bare skin and nothing else. It's just, especially in the summer when you're out in the sun, I just love highlighter and I'm always using it. Alright, so let's get started on the eyes. I'm going to be using this Olimar Cosmetics palette. I know this is a little more um, high-end, not quite drugstore, but I really love the shades in this and I want to use it because it's a really warm tone palette. But of course, um, you can find these types of shades in drugstore palettes too. I like this Milani Most Love Matte palette has a lot of these warm tone shades see they're pretty similar um, but I'm just gonna be using this because this is what I've been using lately I keep it right on top of my desk just because it's one of my favorites um, really really great palette and really great quality I'm just gonna take a little crease brush from morphe and I'm gonna dip into the shade Coco taxi just to slightly dip in there I'm gonna go right in the crease with this one or really just fluff this out you don't have to be too precise with this one. 
just really get it in that crease and fluff it out. I'm just gonna switch to a different brush. I'm just gonna take Tropico here and I'm gonna start building this shade kind of on the outer corner and swiping it kind of up into the crease. And then going out and back up. So I still want that crease to be pretty warm. As you can kind of see. I'm gonna bring it in even closer to like the halfway point of my eye. Up into the crease and out. Then this is the part that's been really making these looks for me. I'm gonna take a little flat brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Cafecito. And I'm going to start right here and kind of just wiggle this along the lashes first. You can already see how that just added some depth. And then slightly start bringing it out like so. And then I kind of lift my brows and drag that down, creating a nice little wing in there. I've been loving doing my wings with eyeshadow lately. I just find it gives it a more natural, wispy look. Then I'm going to kind of take the brush up like this and then drag this kind of up a little bit slightly to blend it into the rest of the eyeshadow. I still want that defined line, but that will kind of just soften it up just a tad. If you have any fallout, just take your blush brush and wisp it away. Next, I'm gonna take this liquid catsuit um, eyeshadow from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna carve out my crease with this. Carve the crease out to about the center of my eye. And then I just take my finger and pat that out. Then I'm actually going to take this Milani palette with this white shade, kind of mix it with this cream too, with just a flat brush and just set that down. So now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take um, Coco Taxi with just a little um, pointed brush and I'm going to just sweep this along the whole lower lash line. And I'm gonna take Tropico more on the point of the brush. So instead of going in this way, I'm going in like that. And taking this one right on the outside and more close to my lashes and then kind of connecting and wisping up. This will really lift the eye up as you can see. All right, so both eyes are now done. As you can see, it's a very like defining look, but it still looks very like natural. Um, Natural for a full eyeshadow look, but you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. So now I'm just going to highlight the inner corner with the Wet n Wild highlighter I used on my face. I'm going to plop this down. All right, and the last step for the eyes is mascara. This is definitely going to finish off the look I'm using my Voluminous Superstar. You can also add some like nice wispy lashes if you want to take this look up a little bit more glam, but since... This is more like an everyday makeup tutorial. I just like to use mascara. And then step two, just on the top lashes, just to give them that extra bit of length in there. And to finish off the look, we're just gonna do some lips. I am gonna use a high-end product for my lips um, just because I really love this formula and the shade. But I just finished off the look with a liquid lipstick. Um, I kind of switch it up sometimes. I use my Milani ones or this one or any liquid lipstick I'm feeling. So I'm just going to use this Huda one in the shade uh, Trendsetter. And then I'm going to take um, Matte Innocence from Milani just to highlight the center. I'm going to keep the lips matte because as I said, I like the matte eyes, matte lips, and then the dewy skin. And then the last step is just setting spray, so I'm just going to use this Morphe one. As I said, this kind of switches up every day too, just depending on what I'm feeling. But I do enjoy this one because it sets down the skin, it blends everything together, and it does make your makeup last too, so I like it. Alright guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I really love it, and this is really what I've just been wearing for every day. It's super easy to do, and it still gives me that glam feel with the eyeshadow and the wings, but it's just so, so easy to do. The skin is so light, and that's really my thing with wearing makeup every day. Um, I don't mind wearing like lipstick and eyeshadow and stuff, but I don't want to wear too much face makeup because, you know, I do struggle with acne and stuff, and I don't want that to be something that um, is kind of triggering it even 
more. So um, this is kind of my way to wear makeup and um, kind of keep it super light and fresh on the skin. And I've just been really, really liking this look um, as the weather warms up and stuff in the summer. I don't really like to wear much makeup on my face. So this is kind of what I've been kind of doing. And I hope this was helpful to you guys. This look is going to give you some coverage without a lot of product. It's going to give you that glam feel. It's kind of like a feathery winged out look. So I've really been liking that. So if you want to see more of these types of tutorials, let me know down below in the comments as well as any other videos you'd like to see here on my channel. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Please subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to hit my notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.